Let's look at a couple examples involving momentum. In the notes, I introduce you to the formula for momentum. Momentum equals mass times velocity. So every object, as long as it's traveling, will have some momentum to it. If you want to think of some examples, great big objects traveling fast have a lot of momentum. And that's why when they collide into other objects, they tend to cause a lot of damage. You know, a great big truck moving down the highway, when it runs into things, can cause a lot of damage to those objects because they carry so much momentum when they're traveling, which means they can cause a lot of energy transfer, which we're going to talk about in one of our next lessons. So I just introduced you to this fancy little formula. It's a pretty straightforward little formula that we work with. Momentum of an object equals its mass times the velocity at that point. And what we tend to use is we tend to use this formula to find the momentum at some instant in time. It may change its momentum as we travel, but what we want with this formula is to find this momentum at a particular point in time or space. So in this case, we have the speed of the object, 900 meters per second. We have its momentum doesn't tell us what direction 4.5 times 10 oops not 4.5 times 10 it's just 4.5 kilogram meters per second now if we knew the direction we would include these because they are vectors momentum is a vector value but in this case they're not asking for a vector you don't give mass with a direction you give mass it's a scalar. So if we take this formula and manipulate it for mass, mass is going to equal to momentum divided by velocity. And that's why you don't see a little arrow above the mass. Put our numbers in, 4.5, as long as we've got the right units, kilogram meters per second, divide out 900 meters per second. Notice your meters per second units divide out. So 4.5 divided by 900 gives us a mass of 0 0.005 kilograms or how I have it written here since we need two significant digits or I wrote this in some simpler units 5.0 grams. I really should be writing this as 0 .0050 to have appropriate kilogram with significant digits or 5.0 grams. If you can write this in some simpler units that make sense in our everyday or common type units, then do so in your questions.